uh, actually I love the sunset already. The sunset is ready and it's almost getting down, like disappearing, but it's looking cute. Uh, these are beans, bean gardens. And then we, I'm seeing maize and uh, actually guys, this side they're doing irrigation from the river Nyamamba, like overflow irrigation. So guys, it's just an evening walk, just uh, interacting with the trees, with the gardens, with nature, and the sunset is amazing. You can see guys, I'm smiling. How nature is beautiful, that's how nature is beautiful to me. And yeah, so just let So guys, it has been a long time. I think now it's, it's more than two weeks. I've never stepped out, like really going out outside my father's compound. So today I decided to take a walk and just have the outside environment. So guys, that's coffee. If you don't know coffee, that's coffee. But remember, this is part of town. But like the, sh the, the outskirts out of the town. So that's coffee. So this is my parents' neighborhood. And uh, it's called Habitat. But this side is where we are going. It's like we are taking the direction of uh, Nyamamba. So, but also, so I'm just going to walk in nature. Already I have like I feel so fresh. I feel so Guys, actually, the other thing is right now where we are, this is like a river corridor. When we were kids growing up, there were no people here because it's a river corridor. And when when Rimanya Mamba gets crazy, it banks like it bursts into all this place. And I'm wondering how people are constructing here because there are so many houses coming up here. I don't know if they are aware that it's a river corridor. Let's just pray for them because I know how Nyamamba is harsh. I know how terrible it can get. But there are houses everywhere. And this is just like a river, a river corridor. Tu 
out of the compound i feel so nice i feel like the area is super nice so when i i came outside it was too light but now i feel like the light was too much because i have taken like the two to get him outside because i was scared of meeting people going outside and meeting people but then a friend told me like maybe you can start with nature before you start going to town so that's what i did that's what I'm doing right now and I'm feeling so fresh, I'm feeling so nice. The feeling of that thing, uh, watching kids play and just walk, walking through the farms, so amazing for me right now. But guys, just know I can't do this alone. So I'm with my sister. Actually guys, it's your first time meeting my sister. <laughs> Hello guys has been there for me from day one like taking care of my my little baby and until now and now she's helping me to get out of the house because very soon she's going back to school so Doris introduce yourself and tell us what you do at school mm -hmm. um Doris the dream girl uh, most of the people call me Galaxy Savage I'm a fashion designer doing tailoring as a course, studying from interior to vocation. Yeah, that's me. I love the sunset already. The sunset is ready and it's almost getting down, like disappearing, but it's looking cute. The environment is super nice, amazing. The sunset is so cool. Guys, I, I think you can see the sunset. And then my sister is over there smiling. Guys, <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you about my sister. <laughs> Let me tell you about my sister. This one here. Actually, guys, you see how we are photocopies. Can you see that? Okay, I'm not going I'm not going to be proud. I want you to to to, to I want you to to guess who is the elder. Jeez! <laughs> guys, oh. who is <laughs> Who is older than who? Are you serious? Yeah, it's a question. Like, who is older who? than who? <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let me wait for your answer, guys. Uh -huh. Who is older hmm. than who? So, guys, I'm Glazio Janet. We are from Kasese. You all know that Kasese is in western Uganda. We are close to Congo and. Uh, yeah, Konko, Bundibujo, and uh, Fort Potso, all those are nearby districts. <clears throat> and my sister here is a fashion star. Oh, guys, so if you have a, a fabric and you want some, some fashions, unique things, she does that, like she does the magic. So she's behind. Uh, if you see me wearing any fabric, just know she's the one who does the fabric. She's good at fashion. And uh, also, she's good at makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Actual guy, she also does makeup, oh. weddings, birthday parties. Name Sasu de Zakarango. Sasu de Zakarango. All right, guys. So, so the question is, who is the eldest among us? Who? <laughs> who? I'm eager. Just tell us. All right, guys. Let me just move you around, and then. Yeah. Peace.
Okay, so this is a church. It's a Catholic church. St. Peter's. Uganda Matters. Yeah, Uganda Matters. Yeah, Uganda Matters Catholic Church. It's a... So guys, I want to pray. Take a prayer and then we can go. Maybe take a prayer from the other side. And uh, uh, this is like, it's uh, under the matters. So you can, if you want to pray through the matters, you can come here and pray. So I want to go to the matters side and then I can take a prayer and then we can go. Dear God, you are the most high God. I believe in you and I believe in your son Jesus Christ. God, I know the matters passed through a lot of pain. Right now I'm passing through a lot of pain too. But I'm sure that the pain I'm not I'm passing through is not equivalent to the pain of the matters. I'm praying to you, God, like give me the strength. Give me the strength to endure this pain, like how the matters endured the pain they passed through. Give me the power to overcome like how the matters did. Grant me joy, grant me peace. 